Hello everyone, welcome to the Career Development Lab. My name is Dayat Niazi and today in this video I will teach you that how you can run your artisan commands in your project using SSH, right? Uh, not SSH, I am using the GitHub CI CD pipeline where you can deploy your application on the GitHub and then it will be automatically uh, uploaded on your server, right? So this is the part number six. And here in the previous video, we uh, added our .env file. We copied the .env.example file and we made .env file, right? So now the time is to generate the app key. Then we will move to the uh, clearing the config, clearing the cache, and then running the migration. So let's get started. So let me go there. And here we are running this out. And here, if I go here and give it a refresh, so this dot uh, env contain a variable by default app key, right? So which is responsible? Uh, the, this key is responsible for encryption. So your uh, Laravel application is encrypting everything, like it's uh, encrypting the password and stuff like that. So it's encrypting this using this key, right? Okay. How to get, how to generate this key using GitHub Action? So just go back and here. Uh, you need to run one more task right so remember you need to add this in the same identification otherwise it will throw hmm, error for example if i go here and add this name like uh, this here so it will throw an error that you have a syntax error so make sure to identify these names and their uh, sub sub name properly right otherwise it will not work okay so just go here add this like this and here i want to name whatever i want right so you can name whatever you want okay so here i'm i'm setting this so uh, generate app key right and then here i need to run and then here i need to specify the command name so php oops uh, let me identify it properly and remove this uh, flag from here php artisan ma uh, not migrate it's a uh, generate uh, what's the command it would be i think key generate right key generate okay save this one and now i'm going to do this again same first i'm adding this uh, file then i'm committing this file and then here i'm posting this file on the github right and uh, how you can track this is it uh, uploading or not so just go here click on this section and here you can see its progress just click on this so uh, uh, click this file click on this deploy it will show you all of the process that it's starting the job it's executing which tasks as you mentioned here you name this so uh, get the test code install dependencies copy env and stuff like that so it will highlight to each task here right so make sure to watch these things here because sometime uh, this github actions uh, mark it as successful but in actual case it's not successful so it's throwing some error error so you need to view its log that is it properly deployed or not right and uh, for now it's uh, unable to find the uh, uh, find some uh, uh, what's the name of the uh, it would be the it is clear it's uh, unable to find uh, some container to execute this job right so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and here uh, let me uh, make this smaller here for you if I go ahead and give it a refresh maybe sometime it's uh, showing you uh, the existing view right but actually it's executing this job so let's go here click on this and yes the same i told you that it's executing the job and here if i go here generate app key right it says that to uh, artisan key generated successfully so now it's going to sync all of the file but i don't want to do this because it's uh, installing the composer uh, uh, installing not composer it's installing the uh, vendor directory because it's installing the composer right if i go here here i mentioned this install dependencies right 
uh, make sure to add this line otherwise it will not work because this one is supported through php right so here i'm canceling this workflow because i want to show you that how you can do this but i don't want to execute this so uh, longer process every time right so i cancel this job myself right and uh, here now let's come back and uh, we successfully edit our app key right so now the time is to uh, clear our configure uh, clear our cache and configs right so how to do this so just go here simply add the similar like this name and assign some name you can say config and uh, cache clearing okay then run this job similar and then here run php or tson uh, con, con fig clear and uh, then you can define here cache clear you can define multiple job multiple tasks like you can do this like this so let me highlight it properly config clearing and then cache clearing right and make this config right uh, in this way you can execute multiple tasks in one job right and this will uh, believe me this will generate the clear the cache and uh, config right okay and then here you need to execute the migration as same right so but here i'm not doing the migration stuff why because the migration need uh, first a database and then these migration will be executed right and uh, first we need to generate uh, the database so i will do this in the next videos and uh, in the next video i'm going to install the npm which is a node.js package manager right so how to install this and how to compile the laravel asset uh, using github actions so if you like this video subscribe the channel and also share your feedback that uh, uh, which part you like uh, on this video and i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys